HQ. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a link in Bio web application, similar to something like Linktree, where your users can um, basically choose um, their own short URL. Uh, they can then configure links and create their own profile and basically add this link then in their um, bio, let's say Instagram bio, where there's a collection of links. So quite a simple application. But a few things that are important in this tutorial that we're going to take a look at is slugs in Bubble, which allow you now to um, have nice and short URLs uh, or slashes with a, just a word afterwards instead of the unique ID, which was like it before. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that. So what you will need is just a Bubble account, which you can uh, sign up for free, create a new app or use your existing app. I'm going to create a um, link in bio app here, tutorial, and I'm going to click on create a new app. Okay, we're now in the Bubble app editor and we're greeted with the application assistant, but we want to start with a blank page and we want to close the assistant immediately. So let's jump right into building our application. So first off, let's head over to data and create our new data type, which will be an individual profile, okay? So um, you can call whatever you like. Um, I'm just going to call it um, bio, okay? And this will again represent um, an individual link in bio page where users can add a list of links and so on and so forth okay great we're going to create um another um or we're going to create a few fields here so first of all um this will have um a name okay let's call that uh, which is of type text let's maybe have um, an image as well okay which is of type um, image of course and let's just have a list of links and this list of links will just be text but it will be a list of text okay so let's again keep this here really really simple and let's also create a new field called user which ties in or ties to a user in our application um, and quickly create and we're done now with the database setup okay so again to summarize we have an individual user as always but we also have our bio which consists of an image a name a list of links and uh, a user so let's head over to index and let's uh, create a nice quick landing page um, create your own link in bio page, okay, for free. So let's have this title here centered and in the middle of the page and make this bold, great. And now what I wanna do, I simply wanna have, um, let's now assume you have a certain URL, so you can say like www.mybiosite.com and then we're gonna have slash and we're going to allow the user to basically define what the slash here afterwards will be. So we're going to have you, and I'm going to show you in a second what this means, and then the name of the user, okay, or whatever the user wants to call it. So let's add an input here, actually. And this input should have the same size as the text field. So let's make sure that this is the case, like this. Great. And this should be your name, okay? What we can do now, we can group these two fields here, group them in a group, make this a bit smaller, and let's center this. Okay, let's also apply a maximum width. We don't want this to be stretched. And now we have this nice, um, easy way where you can see, okay, I'm just gonna enter here my name, and whatever I'm gonna enter here will be, um, or a page will be created with this URL, okay? And this will be my link in bio page, okay? We can change the design of this a bit, maybe make this a bit bigger, the, the font size, but that's up to you, okay? Let's also add a button beneath this, and this button will say, let's go. Great, before I'm gonna configure this button, what we have to do is we have to create the, um, the bio page itself. So I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to call this just you. Why am I going to call this you? Because this is what will be displayed in the URL. Um, so um, you could call whatever you like, but I just always like to have it short. So you is just nice and stands for user. Oops. So let's create a new page, call it you, and let's click create. An important thing here now, uh, we have to define, okay, you has the type of content and the type of content will be bio. So this will represent um, the uh, individual bio. We can even make this um, shorter or decrease the width so that we can um, focus on mobile optimizing our um, yeah, link in bio page. So let's make it really, really simple. So I'm just gonna add a text here at the top and this text will be the current page bio name, okay? Um, let's make that big, okay? 
And beneath this, we want to have the image. So let's have the image here, which will be um, the current page bios image. Okay. And, um, and let's also say when this is empty, so when current page bios image is empty, we want to have a different image source, which is just a free image here, just as a placeholder. So it doesn't matter right now. Okay. All right, uh, let's now add the actual link. So we're gonna add a repeating group for this. I'm gonna drag this here. I'm gonna center this horizontally. Let's also center this horizontally, make this a bit bigger. And this is type of content. This is gonna be a list of texts and the data source for this will be the current page bios links, all right? And we wanna have a full list. Let's actually make this a bit uh, smaller, all right? And again, center this horizontally. And now all we have to do is add a link here. And this link will just be uh, will point to an external URL. The URL will be current sales text. Let's open this in a new tab and let's also add current sales text here. Let's change the color of this. I don't like that. Let's make this maybe, I don't know, bluish like this. Make this bold and center the text vertically. Great. Like this. And what you can also do if you want, you can just add a, a icon here, like an arrow. Uh, makes it look a bit nicer, but again, that's up to you. Like this. Center vertically. Great, so this already looks quite nice and we can go ahead and basically um, check this functionality. Now the only thing is, if we now go to index um, and create a new bio, a user won't be able to basically um, edit all these fields, okay? How are we gonna able to do this? So there's multiple ways you can do this, okay? We're gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new page, I'm gonna call this edit, okay? And uh, we're gonna just create that, okay? An edit will allow you to uh, basically edit your bio, quite simple, okay? And we're going to, again, keep this very simple. We're going to say, okay, welcome, current user's email, okay? So welcome to the user, if the user is logged in. Um, and one thing I want to still do under user, I want to create a new field, and I want to call this bio, and this should be your bio, so it should be linked, okay? So now what we can do, we're going to keep it really simple. I'm going to add a few inputs and here the user can just define um, all, his, um, all his fields. So I want to enable auto binding on parent element thing. However, the parent element has no type. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to group this in a group. Okay. And for this group, I'm going to say, okay, the type of content is going to be um, a bio and a data source is going to be the current user's bio. So we're now going to say, okay, enable auto binding on parent elements thing. I want to auto bind the name field. So enter your name. I also want to do auto binding on our bio. So, uh, on, or, sorry, on our image. So we need a picture uploader for that. So picture uploader, put that here. And let's again enable auto binding. So enable auto binding for image. And the last thing we need is, of course, adding links. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add an input here. Or actually, we can copy this input here, drag that here. And this input will be enter, enter link, okay? And then beneath this, we're going to have a button which will say add link. Okay, and when this is pressed, we want to uh, make changes to thing. We want to change the parent group's bio. And for the links, we want to add the input enter links value. And that's basically it. Okay, so really, really simple. All right. So... Um, let's go ahead now and first of all, I'm going to quickly create a user. Okay, so just as an example, all users, new entry, and I'm going to call this user um, info at nocohq.com. Okay, and let's create that one. The last thing we have to do is define the button on the index page, which, which is the let's go button. Okay, so let's take a look at that now. That's basically the last step now. So when this is pressed, we want to do a few things. First of all, we want to create a new bio, okay? And the bio um, will have the name set to it, whatever in the input your name is, okay? Input your name's value, okay? What else can we add? We could add the image, links, no, that doesn't make sense yet, but we want to add the user, which should be the current user, okay? All right, next, once we did that, we want to make changes to a thing, and we want to change the current user and for the bio we want to set the result of step one so for the current user we want to apply the bio we just created here 
Okay, and as a third step now, quite important, is we want to do something. We want to set a things slug. And as I told you already, a slug is basically what is appended at the URL. And we want to change this bios slug. So result of step one, create a new bio. And the slug of this should be input your name's value. All right. Great. And we should be good to go now. So let's take a look and preview our application. And we're now greeted with, hey, create your own link in bio page for free, mybiosite.com, you, your name. Okay, looks already quite nice, even though we just uh, created it in a few minutes, but I'm just going to enter my name here, so Noel. Okay, so user can now see, okay, this is going to be my profile. And let's click on let's go and see what happens. We can even go step by step, so let's actually do that and click on let's go. So we see... Let's go is clicked, so run next. We want to create new bio. The name of the, user, of the user is Noel, and I'm the current user, okay? We want to make changes to the user. We're going to add this bio to me, myself, and we want to set this thing slug to Noel. And let's click run next. All right, we're now in our, or we now create our slug. One last thing I forgot to add was, uh, in the step here was to go to, this, uh, to the bio page, but we can go here manually, okay? So if you take a look at the URL, what we have right now here is version test. So let's add a U here and then Noel, just to see if this worked. So let's take a look at that. And awesome, as you can see, this worked fine. We have our name here and our placeholder image. So we already created our own bio page that worked fine. And um, instead of having here a long unique ID, we now have our URL, which is, again, in this case, it's a bubble URL. You would use a real one. Version test is just because we use a ver the version or the test version of our bubble application. But important thing to note is we have slash u, which is user slash Noel, and that's our own bio page now, which we could theoretically add already to our Instagram bio and so on. Let's just quickly go ahead and take a look at our um, edit page. So I'm going to preview the edit page, as you can see now, this is uh, welcome. Okay. And um, we can now basically define what should be displayed here. So I can change the name of my bio. So let's change that to Noel. However, we don't have permission to modify this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back here. And under data, I'm going to head over to privacy. And we're going to create a new rule for user. Okay, I'm going to call this rule owner. And this applies when the current user is this user. Okay, might sound confusing, but this just means if you're logged in and you're your own user. We want to allow auto binding for the bio field. Okay. Same thing for bio. If again owner, when the current user's bio is this bio, we want to allow auto binding for all fields. Okay, so let's just log in now as NoCoHQ and go to our edit page. And now you can see, okay, we can, it says, welcome, Noko HQ. I can enter my name. So I want to have my bio should be Noel. Okay, all right. Um, let's click to upload an image. I'm just going to upload an image quickly. Okay, I've uploaded an image and I'm also going to add a few links. So I'm going to add nokohq.com as a link, add link. Okay, all right, let's do it again, add link. I want to add anticode.de, add link, and I want to add google.com, add link. Let's now go back to our actual bio. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at you slash Noel. And I think we're in the wrong page now. Let's take a look at that. So up, app data or bios. Um, somehow this didn't work. Oh, okay, because we didn't create a connection. Okay, so we don't have, the user here is empty and our bio here is empty. So how we're going to do that, we're just going to go into the unique ID here of this bio. We're going to go back to users and under bio, we're just going to add that here. Okay, save and same thing. We're going to copy the user's unique ID and we're going to enter this in all bios. Okay, so uh, under where is it? User here or the email. Yep, save. So actually, we now have to do this again. Unfortunately, we have to go back to the edit page and define the values here. So I change this to no L with a capital N. If we go to our bio back here now. This should change you to a capital N. I'm going to upload an image again. Okay, I've uploaded an image. If we go back to our edit page, the image should be visible. Yup, it's visible. And now we can add a few links. So, nokohq.com, add link, um, anticode.de, add link, whatever, instagram.com, add link. And if we take a look, we have these three links here now. We have nokohq, we have instagram.com, and so on and so forth. Okay. 
One small thing I don't like here is the way this stretches out, so we actually have to go here to U. I just want to apply a maximum width and center this, and center this as well. Let's also yeah make this fixed width. Now let's refresh that, and this should look a lot, lot nicer. All right, so as you can see, very, very simple version of a, ad, a link and bio uh, application. However, we did it in less than 20 minutes, so I think that's quite impressive. Um, what you, of course, would like, would want to do is create like a nice header here where users can navigate, so they don't have to manually enter the URL as we did. So go to my edit page, go to my bio, and so on. And one last thing you would also have to do is, of course, create some sort of sign up methodology. So what I did, I manually linked the bio to the user in the database, but um, you would maybe want to add under the index. You want to would want to add an email here. So sign up now for free. And, and enter the name as well so you can create a user in the same step as creating a bio. But yeah, that's up to you. Um, that was it regarding this tutorial. Um, I hope you learned something and I want to see you guys for the next tutorial with NoCoHQ. Bye.